To get started building Unreal Engine apps to Apple Vision Pro, begin by installing 5.5 from the Epic Games Launcher on a Silicon Mac, and be sure in options to select iOS and Vision OS, and while that's happening, do all of your standard Mac dev environment stuff like install Xcode, and then the Vision OS simulator slash SDK and your provisioning profiles, and while you're at it, make sure you're a paid Apple developer, and go grab your team name from developer.apple.com, and keep that handy, because once Unreal Engine is installed, you'll go ahead and open a standard VR template, and in project settings, search team and put your your team name there, and then search plist and paste in key NS hands tracking usage description slash key string hand tracking slash string, even if you're not setting up hand tracking yet, because it'll actually crash if you don't do this, noting that in 5.6 from UE5 main, you actually don't need to do this if you're not using hand tracking data. Anyway, in plugins, be sure to enable the Vision OpenXR <laughs> plugin, and then package to Vision OS, and while that's happening, which might only take one minute if you're on a newer Silicon Mac, by the way, you can pop into your Vision Pro and make sure over in privacy and security that it's in developer mode, which requires a restart, and then also make sure you've paired it with your Mac as a remote device, and once it's gone through doing a bunch of shared cache and symbol stuff, which has to be done again every time your Vision OS updates and after Unreal makes that lovely successful build noise, you'll have a Vision OS folder with a .app file, and you can drag this right into the Devices and Simulators window, and once it's done, you're done, and you'll see the app in Vision Pro, and you can look around and then start to think about other things, like actually setting up hand tracking or adding the third-person template, because controller input actually works out of the box, or enabling mixed mode, which supports pass-through, which requires uncommenting out these three lines in the visionos.ini file and changing these two lines in ueswift.swift, which is in your engine folder, and be careful because it actually applies to all your visionos projects. And a few other things you should be aware of is mobile HDR is currently only working in one eye, and if you bring hand tracking over from another OpenXR setup, the bone rotations will be a little bit wonky, so be aware of that. And also light baking is currently broken on the 5.5 version on Mac, so if you want to use light mass, you'll have to build on a Mac release of 5.4.4 or a Windows computer release of 5.5.0 and just transfer that .built data file. And that's all the basics in under two minutes. More links in the description below.